So today's video is a review of the Gerodo foldable treadmill. This treadmill is available on Amazon for $759. Today's video will be broken down into the following topic areas. First, I'm going to go over some details on the treadmill. Second, I'm going to talk about my first impression using it. And lastly, I'm going to show some vlog style footage of me using the treadmill, including my thoughts. Now for a few details on this treadmill, this treadmill is available in two colors, silver and a wine red. One feature that sets this treadmill apart from other foldable treadmills is that this treadmill has an auto adjustable incline function. It has 10 levels of incline, translating to 0 to 10%. This treadmill has a 3 horsepower motor, it has 12 preset programs, and it has speed settings ranging from 0.6 all the way up to 9.0. This treadmill has an installation free design, meaning that it works straight out of the box. All you have to do is remove the packaging, plug in the power, and you're ready to go. This treadmill also has two transportation wheels in the front, so you can easily move it. It has dimensions of 65 inches in length, 31 inches in width, and 48 inches in height when assembled. It has a belt size of 20 inches by 50 inches in length. This treadmill can also be stored under a sofa or a bed when not in use, and once again the height of it is 8.7 inches. It can also be stored upright with the front side facing down. To start the treadmill, you just press the start and stop button once and it's going to turn on. If you want to adjust the incline or the speed, you have to press the button and use this knob to increase or decrease it. Likewise, to change the speed, you just press this button first and then you can increase or decrease it. The display shows the time elapsed, distance, walking speed, calories burned, as well as incline. So now I'm going to show you how to collapse the handlebars. It's quite simple, it just takes a few minutes. So with the treadmill, they include a wrench. We're going to turn it counterclockwise to the unlocked position. Repeat that on the opposite end, and from there, the handlebars will collapse. If you're placing the treadmill for storage, I would recommend to lock the handlebars back into place. To do that, we just turn it to the right. I just finished a quick 10 minute run just to test it out. I did one of the Peloton running videos. I was doing the workout with Jess King. Feel good. For a few thoughts right off the bat, initially when I turned this treadmill on, it kind of had like a creaking sound and it was a little bit alarming, but I just slowly ramped it up and it turned out to be okay. I was surprised with the incline function that it's an auto incline function. You don't have to manually adjust it, which is actually great. I'm not sure if there would be a manual option anyways, and I did try it on its highest incline, and it was a little bit too steep for me to jog at that incline. I do love that this treadmill has a water bottle holder. I'm actually loving this stainless steel water bottle. It's from the brand Nyad. They're actually based in Southern California in San Marino. This is the 22 ounce size. I do love that it comes with a straw with a silicone tip. This water bottle has a durable, double layer, stainless steel vacuum insulation, keeping your drinks hot or cold for up to six hours. So if you're interested in trying this water bottle out for yourself, the code Christina Marie will get you 10% off your order. So I just finished my second workout on this treadmill and I do have a few other thoughts. So this is my second time using the treadmill. I'm gonna do a 20 minute hip hop run with Jess King. So I'm currently five minutes into my Peloton run. One difficulty I'm having is matching the speed and resistance to the numbers that she's calling out. They do have her recommended pace at a nine minute, 24 second mile, which I'm not really sure how that would equate to the speed on here. Another feature that I like is that my heart rate is actually showing on the screen. I do have my Apple Watch right here and it just automatically started my run. So here I'm gonna restart the run. I did pause it just to talk through it. 
I think the belt might be a little bit off. Yeah, so the sound did go away. It looks like it restarted my time back to zero. So I just finished the 20 minute hip hop run with Jess King. Since I found the treadmill to be a bit loud, I would highly recommend wearing earbuds during your workout just so you can hear the music. I've tried doing the workouts without using any earbuds, but I felt like I had to turn the volume up so high and I don't want to be disruptive. And it's quite easy enough just to put on some AirPods or some wireless earbuds. I do have a few new thoughts. The first one is that there doesn't seem to be a pause button on the treadmill. Throughout this workout, I was trying to film bits and pieces and pause the treadmill, but there was no way to do so. Every time I would press the start slash stop button, thinking that was the pause, but it would just totally reset my metrics every time. Another thing I want to mention is that the treadmill doesn't record your pace that you're running. So if you're trying to match it to a workout video, say one of the Peloton videos, there's no way of telling how fast you're actually going. She does call out a few incline numbers and I'm not sure where this treadmill would rank on that scale, but I just kind of do what feels right to me. I do an incline for parts of it and then on other parts I just do a flat road. One positive I want to bring up is that the handlebars do feel quite sturdy. If you want to lean on it and put a little bit of pressure during your run, I feel like they actually can support you. They're better than the other handlebars I've tried on previous models. I also want to point out that during your runs, if you want to change the incline, it feels a little bit shaky as it's increasing, and I kind of try not to put too much pressure on it while it's rising. Having a treadmill with an incline function really helps to vary your workout, and I do love that my Apple Watch was able to track all my metrics during the workout. I didn't have to push anything to start it. So here's some of my stats for the run. My average mile pace was 13 minutes, 40 seconds. Average speed was 4.4, and I liked that through the Apple Watch I was able to track my different heart rate zones. I spent most of the run in zone 3. I would recommend turning the treadmill off every time after use, especially if you have young kids. You don't want them to accidentally turn on the treadmill while you're not supervising it. Another thing to try is just to remove their emergency clip, as the treadmill won't turn on unless this is plugged in. So I just finished the 30 minute rock ride. I'm pretty proud of myself for actually going through with all of it. I did jog for about 20 minutes of it and then walked the remainder 10. So I'm in the middle of a 30 minute rock run with Andy Spear. Once again, there's no pause button, so I do have this at the lowest speed of 0.6. If I just press it once, you can see that the incline immediately goes down to P, which is the base position. And then it shows my total time of 33 minutes. And say if I were to start this one up again, it just resets the clock. So if you do want to track your results, I would recommend just doing it to the lowest speed. And then I guess you can just balance your feet on these portions right here and let the belt run in front of you. As mentioned on the previous day as well, I do run with the AirPods in because it's really hard to hear the music um, because of the noise of the treadmill. Here's my stats. I did a total of 2.21 miles, burned about 280 calories, average pace of 13 minutes per mile. And it also shows my zones. I was mostly in zone three. And of course, everything was linked with my Apple Watch. So this was day three of using the treadmill. I'm not filming on consecutive days because I'm not using it like three days in a row, but I do try to film every time that I use it just to update my opinions. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below what are your thoughts on this treadmill. Do you think it's worth it for the higher price point versus other foldable treadmills? Do you like the fact that this treadmill has an incline function? With that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.